Yeah, hey everybody and welcome back. My name is Tuki and this is Divinity Original Sin 2. Let's go. Let's go. All right. So, mm, we were a little bit of shipwrecked in the end of the last episode. This game is so pretty. Gosh, just look at those leaves. I can almost count the individual ones. It's so pretty. Uh, anyway, uh, let's get focused. Uh, what? Whisperwood short stick. I'm sure there are some form of uh, crafts we can do. A primitive harpoon that needs a long, long branch. Potions, physical armor potion. What the hell is this? Amaduvir. Oh yeah, I, I looked at that last time. This is just fuse. And for fuse is rope and rope. Okay. Anyway. So, we were a bit shipwrecked and we landed up here in, uh, I believe it's called Reaper's Coast or uh, Fort Joy. But I think Fort Joy is over this way. Oh, I see a child of some sort. Let's go say hi. The child has a small mirror in his hands. He holds it up at angles, inspecting his eyes, his chin, the crown of his head. He spots you and his arms snap to his side. I'm not supposed to talk to lizards. Tell the kid to keep it himself. Tell him that's pity. Lizards are famed storytellers or take... Yeah. Really? Like, what kind of stories? Tell him you know an excellent one about a dragon king. He ruled vast lands and married a beautiful elf princess. You Say you could recount the tales of Visha, a famed lizard adventurer who slew the seven-headed snake of Oram. I'm going to pick the first one. A dragon that marries an elf? That sounds silly. Can I hear it anyway? You want me to tell the tale of the dragon, but despite your best efforts, you notice that your knowledge of legends and monsters is somehow upsetting the child. Oh. Are you a sorcerer? One of those guys that brings the bad void things here. Nod, you are by the looks of that collar around his neck, so is he. The child looks at you straight on, unafraid, searching your face. He lifts his mirror to his nose, closes one eye, and looks at himself again. I don't see any sauce on you or me. I guess they're wrong or crazy. <laughs> Tell him they may well be wrong and crazy. Ask the child why he's out here alone. Tell the child he should run along. It isn't safe. Uh, yeah. Tell him that they're both wrong and crazy. <laughs> Maybe you're right. At least they don't mind where anyone goes. They know we can't leave the island. It's a lot nicer out here than inside. Ask him if his parents know where he is. Say it isn't safe that your your ship was attacked by Void Walker not far from the shore. But you didn't die. Well. Ask him why he doesn't seem scared. I guess I am. But it's just normal to be scared. Nowhere is the scary. This kid is wise beyond his years. Take your leave. Okay, well, what's the statue then? I thought the order would get rid of any trace of the old Source King. So I assume this is the old Source King, whatever the hell that means. Let's check these veins. A bowstring. Vast. This won't be of any use. Yeah, it's it's very broken. Um, I guess we can mm, uh, have a little bit of an exploration fit. Down the coast. There's a barrel. Mm, barrel. Mm, nothing in the barrel. <laughs> Leather scraps. Oh, there Void are. Hogan. Those are the same beasts that sank our ship. Damn. They've made it to shore. So holding in shift tells you where they can see. Observing them just a little bit will uh, allow you to note down their. Traveling patterns. Okay. Uh, grab these. Can we sneak? I love the sneaking. You turn into a bush. <laughs> you can move around. Arr. Okay. Um, anyway. Yeah, let's go fight these guys. I have a fireball spell. So I'm going to use that. Boom. And uh, an oil flask. On nah. No, that's okay. I think I'm alright. 
Or I'm gonna breathe some fire, just so that they have a nice, fiery trail to come walk over. If they wanna come this way. You. I know you. I can understand them? Oh, this one's going around. Smart. Alright. Haha, -ha, tentacle arm no jutsu. And then he should die, but I'm gonna kill him. Sure, let's wait. Oh, come back through the fire then. Ow. Ow. Murder. I thought these bloody collars were supposed to keep those things at bay. I leveled up. Nothing there. Wasn't there a second one? Hmm. Okay. Anything interesting to search or to look for? Alright, let's look Drowned at... Drowned and eaten by a void woken. I wonder in which order. Apple, gold, a resurrection scroll, and a healing potion. Nothing in the barrel. Anything else interesting around here? Not yet. Okay, moving on. Well, I leveled up, so let's have a look at our stats. For now, I'm going to put some into wits. I'd like this character or my main character to be the one who... F well, who's good at finding stuff. What do these scale with? Bonus from strength, no bonus, no bonus. Mm, oh, that's just a racial thing, I guess. I have absolutely no idea what stat to level with uh, polymorphism. Polymorphism. Hmm. But for now, maybe I'm gonna put one into constitution and one into its. Every single level that I level up, I'll put one into constitution and then one into whatever. Oh, yeah, and then uh, this. Polymorph. Where am I going to put my leveling? Two-handed is just... Uh, I'd like Warfare. Increases all physical damage. We're going to be do dealing quite a lot of physical damage. Even this does physical damage. Tentacle Lash. This just turns you into a chicken. Okay. That allows you to charge, I guess. Mm, I won't be using any of these. I might grab some of these. Maybe the leadership one. Which just gives like a little bit of a passive bonus to teammates. Or I should be grabbing warfare. Because I'm going to be using me melee based stuff. Like a whole bunch. Oh, and uh, spears scale with finesse. Which is, I guess, understandable why... Um, because when I created this character, they gave me some in strength and some in finesse. And I was like, why would I use finesse? So maybe I will be swapping out um, this spear then for another two-handed based weapon. Like a sword or a battle axe or something. But for now, I'm gonna... I think I'll grab warfare. And then... Uh, what is this exactly? What is this thing called? It doesn't want to tell me. Okay, fine. Where will this go? Loremaster Persuasion. I'll put one into Loremaster. Loremaster basically allows me to use magnifying glasses to identify unidentified items. Okay. Let's have a look at our gear. That's a wand. Out to swords. Mm, nothing interesting. Any equipment? These are all worse than what I have. Alright, moving on. A gigantic shell. Why did I pick up the gigantic shell? That is one huge shell. Okay, moving on. Oh. Oh, Red Prince. Oh, good to see you here. Okay, let's say hello. 
you spot a strange lizard gazing over the water with a steady, malcontent stare. His skin is of a bright blood-red color. Could he be? Yes, you recognize him from the ship. It would seem you're not the only one who survived the tentacles of the deep. Oh, bravo. Greet him heartily and say you're glad to see he survived. He's the one that took you by the jaw and sized you up like a damn horse. Say you have a bone to pick with him. Yeah. The lizard turns about with the graceful ease of a dancer. Or a duelist. You lock eyes with his. Two smoldering embers that sizzle your very soul. Yes, I imagine you do. You're made of sterner stuff than I first gave you credit for. He's got such a snooty little voice. Chances are I wouldn't have survived the shipwreck. Had you not returned to the aid of your fellow passengers down in that dreadful hole, you have my gratitude. Oh, you are so very welcome. Hand over heart, he salutes you with a bob of the head. More than a nod, though less than a bow. <laughs> Fine. He's not a pretentious douche anymore, at least. Tell him you were glad to be of help doesn't do to stand idly by when people are yes, in danger, sure I guess. Yes, I'm sure all the makings of a hero and all that, but let's not get carried away, shall we? Oh, and he's right back to being a douche. Now then, if there's nothing further... Why are you standing here on that rock? I'm sure I don't mean to sound condescending, but I had thought it quite self-evident I was gazing out over the waves. Really? Alright. He sighs dramatically. Okay. Tell me. Tell you what? What do you see when you cast your glance over this ocean? Well, the water is clear enough. I can kind of see through it. Say that you see memories. Childhood days spent in the sun. That sounds boring. Say that as of last night, you see a kraken-infested wasteland you never want to... Yeah, pretty Touché. much. <laughs> he looks out over the water once more, and so do you. A few tranquil moments pass as the waves lap against your thoughts. As for myself, when I consider this vast expanse before us, I see an empire. What, in the water? I see continents dotted with mighty cities. And shimmering along the soft curve of the sea's horizon, I picture the palaces that formed my paradise. Lost. Hmm... Shrug and say people see castles in the sky. Might as well see them in the sea. <laughs> True. Ask what he means by lost. Uh, tell him that's a rather specific vision he has there. Why an empire? Yeah. Of course it's rather specific. Quite obviously I'm musing over the very actual empire that I lost. Oh really? Suddenly, having all the air of being deeply offended, he stares at you with utter incredulity. Well don't just stand there gawking like an ape at an abacus. Or do you really mean to tell me you don't know who I am? You don't know who I am. Um, <laughs> that reminds me of a story. There was once um, a guy from Brazil. That's the place. Um, I don't know why I forgot. There was a guy from Brazil here once. Uh, he was a white dude, so it wasn't like the typical dark-skinned Brazilian. I'm not even sure if that's racist or not. Don't hate me. Anyway, um... And he was in the cafe that my building is above. And uh, so he was down there and uh, he was talking with a bit of an accent. So I asked him where he's from and <laughs> he said, well, of course, I'm from Brazil. So, you know, I, I don't like when people take that tone with him. So I asked him, sorry, uh, where? And then he's like, Brazil, Brasilia. Then he said something that uh, what I assume is... Spanish or Portuguese? I'm not sure what language they speak there. And then he said, Brasilia, South America. Uh, <laughs> so I shook my head. I'm like, mm, uh, I don't think I've heard of it. Is it like like near the USA? And uh, But yeah, I just love it when people become indignant at me because... Dude, if you fart, your shit smells just as much as mine does. Don't think you are any way above me. Anyway, uh, shake your head. You have no idea who he is. Not enthusiastically. Of course you do. You recall that he's the famous king? Say that you suppose he can be no other than the famed Red Prince, if such a thing is possible. Someone who had an empire to lose. Tell him you don't run with that kind of crowd. 
No, um, seeing as I'm a lizard and he's a lizard, I probably know who the Red Prince is. The very same. I am the Red Prince, the All-Conqueror, the World Tamer, the Spouse of the Sun. So why are you on a shitty little island? Of course you know me. Wow. There's a brief moment's pause, during which his grandiloquent pose deflates ever so slightly. That said, I suppose I must own up to the fact that I find myself rather in between all-conquering and world-taming opportunities at the moment. No shit. The grandeur that is my fate has uh, hit a bit of a snag. But never you worry. For the throne I was destined, and my throne I shall have. Okay. Invite him to travel with you. Maybe you can even help him win his throne back. Say that you two have this and that to sort out. He's welcome to tag along if he wants. Say that it's absolutely riveting. <laughs> I have to dash. Now, I'm going to say that I have this and that to sort out. He's welcome to tag along. This and that? Tag along? Do you really mean to compare the fate of an empire to whatever foibles you seek to fix? <laughs> On the other hand, I really could do with a dog's body. Excuse me? You've already proven to be trustworthy enough. You came back for the others on that ship, after all. Dog's body? Do I look like a... Excuse me? Fine. I accept. Mm -hmm. On one condition. For reasons I'll not disclose right now, it is imperative that I should meet with a dreamer. One of our kind's revered mystics. Okay. I've reason to believe one of them may be present on this island. Promise me we'll look for him, and I'll extend you the blessing of my company. Jeez. So you can't promise him exactly, but you'll keep his request in mind. You do tend to beat around the bush, don't you? <laughs> oh, well, that wishy-washy answer will have to do then. I'm going to give him <laughs> satisfaction. So now that that's settled, first things first. Mm -hmm. Even if you are as versed in the art of eloquence as I am, that our swords will be doing a lot of the talking from here on out goes without saying. Indeed. As a born fighter, I prefer the perfection of the blade myself. But I'm well acquainted with the secrets of magic and, yes, even subterfuge. What say you? Okay, so this is the part where you basically pick what class he's going to be. Um, by the looks of it, he has a shield and a one-hand weapon, so he's probably like a fighter. Yeah, as it says there, obviously. But seeing as I'm going to be all, like, pretty much melee-ish already. Hmm... Does he have any martial experience? Maybe we could deal with another... Like, in your facial type of person. And, uh... Because I know that I'm gonna get another two characters. It just depends on, on who they'll be. Um, for a party of four. Uh, so, if we're gonna be the two guys up front... Then I'd like to have two casters or two range type of deals. Um, so, yeah, maybe I'd like him up front, but I'd also like him to be more offensive than tanky. Or do I like having somebody that, that is a little tanky? Maybe I should keep him as a fighter. Sure. Very well. Onwards then to victory or death. Because I don't, I don't want to overload with, with melee people, and only have like a single caster. But yeah, that's the it, red that's prince it. nods and gives you a smile that wavers ever so delicately between courtesy and contempt. <laughs> now, as you're away, you'll be travelling with a prince. Proper forms of address include your Majesty, your Royal Highness, or, or if you're feeling particularly frivolous, my lord. Really? As your luck would have it. I seem to be fresh out of luggage, so you won't be required to carry my belongings. <laughs> wow. Of course, there are other forms of protocol to bear in mind, but I'll see to it you'll pick up the rest as we go. So, without further ado, let us be off. Okay, anyway, they are chained to me right now, and I got a bit of a journal entry here. I met a lizard known as the Red Prince, a royal who was exiled from his empire. He has joined my party in the hopes of finding a lizard dreamer somewhere on this island, though to what end he would not reveal. This has been closed. We were attacked by voidlings. Okay, yeah, that was what happened earlier. Let's have a look at his inventory. He's got a bomb. 
Mana potion, a resurrection scroll, and a backpack. Similar as me. What's his skills look like? Oh, so he's got a bit of bartering. Geomancy and warfare. Makes sense. Okay. Nothing else though. He's got a shield, which is important. Alright, moving on. He'll follow me around now. I'm not sure if I should be picking up the shells. I'm not exactly sure what they do. Anything interesting over here? I cannot. This is annoying because in my settings I did turn off. Um, So tutorial boxes, uh, peace combat, blah blah blah, camera, lock, enable edge panning, dynamic camera, rotating minimap. I did turn that off. Because I don't want the minimap to be turning around with my with my looking. I want to be able to know which direction I'm going at. Like I'm heading south now. A black cat. Huh? A herald of wisdom in my homeland. How fortuitous. The cat's eyes are clouded and grey but it stares at you with acute intensity. Its eyes clear, and it shakes its head, confused. Mm, do any of us have pit pal? He is sophisticated and has spell song on an opportunist. Hmm, we should get somebody that has pit pal who can talk to animals. Hello there. Hey mister, it's a lot nicer here than that stinking boat, huh? Mm. I'm sure glad you went back to save the others. Saw one of them wringing out their tunic at the shore a few hours ago. Say hi for me. Okay. Lots of shells, some barrels. I'll take that. Nothing else over there. All right. Is this cat following me? Hi. The cat's eyes are clouded and grey. But it, it appears confused and yet somehow compelled to continue following you. Um, okay. Oh, quick save. It means something's gonna happen. Bottle of water, bottle of beer. Can't reach, obviously. Tongues. Don't know what to do with the tongues. How the hell are you supposed to get over there? Now where should I put this one? Hmm. Uh, gate over there. Ooh, there's a lot Your of people. Has asked a question. Answer him. What's going on here? Stay back, sorcerer, and stay silent. Our god woken speaks. Um. I don't like the look of these things. The hammer's pet. Magister Atusa. Bishop Alex. Hey, this is that dude, Bishop Alexander. Huh. We know you've been helping sorcerers escape, Atusa. We have proof. I'd sooner cut my tongue out than lie to you, Alexander. I know nothing of any escapees. If you can tell the Godwoken no more, your tongue is of no use. Cut it out. This can't be serious, Alexander. Come. You should know by now to obey your superior, Magister. Whatever she may ask. Wow. Make yourself small, you'd rather not get noticed now. Step forward saying this is injustice at best and base cruelty at worst. Uh, shout that what, whether she's telling truth or lies, you won't find out by mutilating her. Whence, if they want information, gold would buy more than torture. Presume that this kin's treachery has been great or that the regime is run by the pettiest of tyrants. Your stomach turns, your heart reaches out to your kin, but your hands fro feels frozen at your side. I'm gonna do the outlaw because it's true. Atusa pinches the tip of her tongue with two fingers and brings her dagger to its root. Her eyes squeeze shut. Drops of blood form against the dagger's edge and quickly fall to the ground. She groans. Ouch. Stop! My father, may his soul rest in peace, would be disappointed in you, Atusa. To think you would lie to his only son, your bishop, and your friend these many years. The fate of our realm hangs in the balance. If you will not help us save it, 
then you will help the Void destroy it. Dallas? Yes, Your Holiness? I believe we're done here. Oh my god. What a waste. Come. We'll be needed elsewhere. What the hell? So she cut out her fucking tongue for no reason. Oh, you are on my shit list. Come on, old man. I can't wait all day. What's the up? lizard magister, or what's left of her, lies in a puddle of gore. <sighs> well, the cruelty of this makes me sick. She was a lizard, yet a magister. No matter her reasons, her penalty was fair. Really? I don't like this lizard asshole. Atusa's leg. Nah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna pass. Uh, I don't want to go into the keep just yet. There's a lot more to explore. Keep our eyes out for loot and stuff. What's this? Uh, this seems to be a bit of a... Anything? No? Okay. Nothing interesting. Ooh, there seems to be an opening here. For Joy Beach. Let's go in here. I've spotted something. Really? What did you spot? Did you spot the cave opening? I wonder where this leads. To this dude over here? A ooze barrel. And there's some poison laying on the floor. Oi! Oh, it's As Faye! As the alcove opens up, you see the same skeleton that you met on the boat before it sank. He's still not wearing his mask. He's leaning over a corpse, prodding and pulling at the skin of its face. Bugger. How on earth am I supposed to... Oh. Perhaps? Skeletal fingers reach down and grip the skin of the dead man's face, pulling sharply upwards. After a few more tugs at the man's cheeks, the skeleton relents, letting the head drop to the ground with a damp thud. <laughs> Damnation! That stuck fast. I wonder, does the beard act as some form of anchor? <laughs> Cough politely. Curious to ask what he's doing. Tell him to get the hell away. Cough politely. Ah! No! Stay back! Don't... Oh. It's you. I must admit I'm surprised. Perhaps you're more buoyant than I suspected. Admit that you're surprised to find him here. Why did he head for a prison island? Ask what business he has with that body. Not towards the corp. Anything valuable there? Tell him he should hang around to log. It doesn't seem... Yeah, why did he head for prison It seems the island? human that stole my mask was rather more resourceful than I gave her credit for. I chased her here. But she rather seems to have given me the slip. Thus... He turns back to the body, prodding at its face cautiously. Ask him what business he has with the body. Why, its face, of course. What other use would I have for some rotting corpse? A face that seems rather stubbornly attached to his skull. Huh. I would normally employ a tool to delicately but viciously rip the face from the body. I could then craft a mask to hide my bone. But as I lack such a tool... The skeleton grabs the corpse by the cheeks and pulls hard, grunting in frustration as the body's skin holds firm. And why is this so urgent? This is prison. It's not like he's going anywhere. Oh, don't be ridiculous. I have important things to do on Reaper's Coast. I cannot simply sit about waiting for the rest of you to die so I may continue my business in peace. <laughs> no. I may be an eternal, but my patience has its limits. Indeed. I may be the only eternal. My people seem rather absent, at least from this realm. As for the others, well, there is an excavation site at the Black Pits oil fields. Uh, perhaps there I'll find my answers. An eternal? What is that? Some sort of a cult? cult? Hardly. We were a race that existed before the idea of race was needed. We were all one. I could ask you to imagine an Eternal as a creature of incredible intelligence and skill. But I fear the limits of your imagination would not do us justice. 
We studied the mysteries of the universe. We created works of great art. We... We disappeared. But I will find them. Wherever they are, I will find them. We will have our world again. Ask why he's still here if his people have vanished. Well, that hardly seems relevant. But if you must know, I was inconvenienced for a time. Several centuries, in fact. Or perhaps millennia. One tends to lose track. I was sealed in a tomb for daring to be curious about the world. It seems our king did not agree that the universe should be explored to its full potential. Perhaps I should thank him. It seems I was spared whatever happened to the others. I wonder if flowers would be appropriate. <laughs> Where does he think his people are? In some other realm? Or it seems like he needs a companion. Ask if he'd like to travel with you. I suppose. Circumstances being what they are, it could be advantageous. You seem more at ease in this world than I. A guide would certainly be useful. Yeah, sure. Excellent. While we are conversing, perhaps you notice that I am rather skilled in, well, all things. Except taking faces. Of course, the arcane arts are my little speciality. But being a brilliant wizard does not mean I cannot handle blade or bow. So, which do you require for this enterprise of yours? Yeah, I think a wizard suits us perfectly well. I could do that with one hand behind my spine. <laughs> now, shall we get on? There is rather a lot to see. Sure. Splendid. Very well. Let's be off. Alright, Mr. Fane. Nine new recipes learned. Mm. I've made an unusual skeleton called Fane. Someone stole his mask on the boat here. And he needs to get it back or craft a new one. Until then, he'd better keep his face covered. He tells me he's an eternal, the last of his lost of a lost race, <coughs> and uh, wants to discover what happened to his people. He thinks he'll find his answer at the Black Pit Oil Fields on the Coast. Uh, already read that. Signs of the Resistance. We watched as a ma magistrate named Atusa was executed for dissent. Perhaps there are other dissenters willing to help us escape. Uh, we'll see. Let's see what he can do. Okay, keep his face covered, obviously. That thing is well covered. Like, he's pulled that all the way low. And he's well covered up, too. Now, imagine, like, walking around, you know. Oh! The supernatural masquerade. The living cannot stand the sight of undead. To avoid triggering panic and hostility everywhere you go, be sure to cover your head, torso, and legs. <laughs> I assume so. He seems a little boned. Interesting. <laughs> Alright. Far out, man. Okay. Ingenious. Okay. And he's undead. Let's you heal from poison, poison, but regular healing will damage you. Intelligence, constitution. He is a geomancer and a pyrokinetic. We might want to skip the geomancer for now. Seeing as I noticed he's already a geomancer. I might actually like Pyrokinetic and I might teach him Hydrosophism. Or maybe Necromancy. Or maybe Aerotherge. Lightning and Fire. Or Fire and... Ah, but whatever. We'll deal with that when we get there. So he has some spells as well. He has a small poison bottle, so he heals from poison, obviously. Anyway, uh, let's have a look. Interesting in the box. Ooh. Haste scroll and stained pants. Do we have proper pants on? I have pants. He has shitty pants. You're going to be our tank, so... I guess let's, let's put that on him. Alright. Uh, one way to get rid of this fire is just to set it on fire. Oh, this poison. There you go. Because there are some climbable vines over there. Let's have a look if there's something interesting down here. There's a corpse. Corpse of an elf. Can we get down here? Can't reach. Okay. Let's go up see what's going on up here. Mama. 
What's going on, kid? You hear a small whimpering sound from behind a basket. You peer behind it and find a small human child holding her knees and trembling. Place a hand on her head and start to whisper, shh. No, gently ask the child what's wrong. She looks up at you as if to answer, but recoils at the sight of you and buries her face in her knees once more. Kindly ask the child why she seems to fear you so. Because you're a master. Master sent us here. Me and Ma and Pa. She was not a nice lady. Blizzards aren't nice ladies. They beat me. Say masters only beat slaves if they're naughty. She must have been very naughty. Sure. The girl begins to scream fearfully and doesn't stop until you back away. <laughs> I hate kids. Oh, this is stealing? Who are you? Where is she? You go with us? Who are you? Are you from the shelter? She says nothing of another. Fear alas. She is so late. Um What do you Never mean? Mind. It is not your concern. You leave. She leans forward. Her eyes are wet with fear as she takes your hand. Please, do not lead anyone here. Okay, I wasn't planning on. Keep on exploring, I guess. Ooh, it's saving, so... Bad times lie ahead. There's some turtles. Ancient turtle. Turtle. Hi, hey, hello. Okay, can't really talk to you. What's this over here? What's happening to these turtles? Oh. They're um. transforming. Oh, so this is a fight now. Interesting. I guess this is a good place to end the episode. Well, at least at the end of this episode. Or at the end of this fight, it will be good. I don't like the sight of that big one. So let's see, what can you do? Searing daggers, fossil strike, ignition. Play dead. <laughs> okay. Time warp, and then some spells. I'm gonna use oil on this big dude. I'll yield to none. That should slow him down a little bit, and then poison. What are you doing? Ow! Okay, um... I'm gonna... Set you on fire. No, but I'm also in fire. Never mind. Let's become a bull. And then we can rush this annoying little crap stalker and then give him a little slap. Turtle kiss. Interesting. Uh, shields up. Battle stomp. Fortify. Oh, he also has the dragon's breath and firestorm grenade. I'm gonna throw my shield at this one. Oh, that was not bad. And then I'm gonna fortify maybe Fane because he has no armor. That uh, white bar, by the way, is the armor. So I'm gonna. It looks so cool. <laughs> okay. Uh. Yeah, okay, just hang around there. Okay. Sure, you know what? I'm gonna leave you with this big dude. No, maybe we should go for this. Yeah, searing, searing blades. There, enjoy your burning. And then... Uh, Ow! Okay, so this guy's just dead. Stabby in the buttocks. Oh, that is a melee touch type of deal, it looks. Can I bull rush this dude? Oh, good hit. Everybody hold on, the tortoise is coming. <laughs> oh no. 
Oh no, Mr. Turtle. Oh, why, why walk into the fire? Um, can I walk up and smack him? Alright, again. Oh, and then everybody's on fire. Sure, you die. And then you die. Good job. Now everybody get out of the fire. Ow. Okay, let's just wait around for the fire to burn away or to wear off. And then use my bedroll. Oh, everybody instantly heal. Okay. Ooh, wizard pants, turtle's claw, intestines, and some gold. Void touched turtle. Where's the other one? Swallowed too much seawater by the looks of him. Foolish to attempt an escape by sea in these waters. Yeah, I agree. A soggy diary. First night here don't seem like it'll be too bad. Found somewhere quiet to sleep. Brought enough dry bread to last me. When all this blows over, I'll be happy to say I survived it in comfort. Group of dumb brutes shook me down for my bread. Will have to get smart if I want to eat. Met an old fisherman named Rad. Taught me how to make a net. Rad's gone. Dumb brutes took my net. At least the meanest one got took in the night. Getting hungry. I always was a strong swimmer. Waters around here are pretty glassy. Can't be much more than a few miles to shore, can it? Really? Alright, good luck. Um, yeah, there's plenty still to see and explore around here, like these boxes and that chest and stuff. But until such a time, guys, I appreciate a like and a comment. I hope you are enjoying the season so far. It's f It feels a little slow, but there's plenty of combat still to come, I think. Plenty of stories to learn. We're going to be chatting up our friends and getting to know them a little bit. Building up a little team. But yeah, um, guys, I appreciate it. Thanks for hanging out with me today, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye for now. <laughs>